Hi everybody, this is Mrs. Minano. Today we're going to learn about how musical instruments make their sounds. Have you ever stopped to think about what it is that happens in order for a musical instrument to make sound in the first place? You could scratch on a violin, or blow into a flute, or strike a drum, or shake a maraca. How did these instruments make their sounds? Well, you can categorize instruments into four categories. Aerophones, chordophones, idiophones, and membranophones. Oh my! Those are funny sounding words. First of all, let's talk about an aerophone. An aerophone is a musical instrument with, which produces sound by vibrating columns of air. You've talked about the fact that everything in sound is because of vibrations. Aero means air, and phone means voice or sound. So aerophone means an air sound or an air voice. An example of an aerophone would be a recorder, a trumpet, even a pipe organ, even a coke bottle. And an aerophone may be made from metal, plastic, glass, or wood. Pictures of different aerophones you might know. This is a recorder. You blow into the recorder using air, and that's what makes it sound. Here is a trumpet. Same thing, but a trumpet is made out of different material. It's made out of metal or brass. A flute is also made out of metal, usually silver. You blow across the top of the flute, and it makes a beautiful sound. And here is another one. Believe it or not, a Coke bottle can be an aerophone if you blow a clock across the top much like you would a flute. Of idiophones. There's that singing wine glass. You rub around the top of the wine glass and the glass by itself vibrates and sings. Claves. Claves because of the type of wood that they're made out of. When you strike them together without choking them, you can make a beautiful sound. Here's a xylophone, much like the ones that we have in our classroom. When you strike the wooden bars of the, of the xylophone, it makes a sound because it's made out of wood. And here are some maracas. Again, you shake the maracas and all by themselves they vibrate, making their own sound. These are idiophones. The next category is membranophones. A membranophone is a musical instrument that produces sound by a vibrating membrane or skin, like a drum. Drums are me membranophones because you strike the skin or membrane of the drum, and a membranophone can be played in any of the following ways, by striking the drum skin with a hand or an object, like a mallet, and this is the most common form of a membranophone like a timpani drum or a snare drum. There are other types of membranophones though too. You can pull a knotted string attached to the drum skin and this is common to Indian drums and can be ex an example of a chordophone which we'll be talking about in a few moments as well. Or you could rub the drum skin with a hand or object. This is common in Irish traditional music, for example the bow drum and I know you'll recognize these. Here's a djembe drum and when you strike the skin of the drum it makes a sound. That's the membrane, the skin of the drum. Here is a taiko drum. These are the congas, just like the ones Mrs. Minano has in her classroom. And this is a snare drum, which is made out of wood and membrane and even metal. Last, we have chordophones. A chordophone is a musical instrument which produces sound by vibrating strings. Now, you know chordophones. Examples of chordophones would be a piano, a harp, a violin, 
or a guitar. The strings are pulled extremely tight so that when the chordophone is played, the strings vibrate. A chordophone must have strings and something to resonate against, like wood or metal. And a chordophone may be plucked or bowed or struck. I know you're going to recognize these. This first one looks just like the one in Mrs. Minano's classroom, a piano. Next, we also have a harp. And if you remember Mrs. Minano's auto harp, that also makes the same sounds and it's a chordophone. A guitar is also a chordophone. And of course, a violin or any of the members of the violin string family. These are all chordophones. Well, I hope you've enjoyed your lesson for today. And what you're going to do now is you're going to go to Mrs. Minano's distance learning webpage and you're going to pick a word search puzzle and have some fun with the words that we've learned about the different instruments, aerophones, idiophones, membranophones, and chordophones. Oh my! Have a great day!